So when we are whipped, when we're imprisoned, when we have massive problems in labours, in sleeplessness, all these things, we have to give God the glory. We have to trust God for our future. And so the picture here is of the Christian who totally trusts God for his future. We totally trust God for our future. So therefore, if the Christian woman is is really stressed out with life and uh, circumstances and whatever, the same as the Christian man, we all suffer our Goliaths, whether you're male or female. The Bible is very patriotic and, and you know, we talk always about him and his and everything. But you know, it goes both ways. It's it's male and female. You know? And so you have your mountains and your Goliaths too. And it's what you do with them. It's how you approach them. Do you cower away from them and get all stressed out and frightened and fearful? Because we are a bit security conscious. And maybe that's you today. Maybe you are so worried about your security and what will happen tomorrow. And Jesus says, don't worry about tomorrow. Today's got enough troubles of his own. Don't be worried about tomorrow. You can't add an in, inch to your height or an hour to your life, so why are you worrying? And that's what happens with us. We start worrying. And once we start worrying about the physical and the, the mental and the you know, stressful aspects of life, we're lost. We're all at sea. The boat starts to fill up. We feel as though we're swamped. And that's not the answer. Jesus is still there with us in the boat. And Jesus is that right there with you, with your Goliath, wherever it might be. Jesus is there with you. And you might think he's asleep, but he's not. He knows what's going on. And he knows when you're actually in faith and when you're not. And if you're not in faith and you're trying to make it all work yourself and you're trying to juggle all the, all the balls up in the air, he's going to let you get on with it until they all fall on the ground. And then you're going to trust him. So you need to start seeing what you've done in the past and start saying, you know what? I remember when I did that and it didn't work. <laughs> but when I trusted God, it kind of worked. Amazing. Duh. Duh. I maybe should exercise my faith. <laughs> but we panic, don't we? We panic because we're sense, we're sense creatures. We, we, we live in this five sense realm and we're sense creatures. But we need to walk by faith. We need to step into the spirit and walk in the spirit. Because that does not compute with the sense realm. You know, we've, if we live by faith and not by sight, that goes against our humanness in a way. It goes directly into the, to the spiritual. But it's the spiritual that affects the physical. God created us. And he gave us a soul. And he then gave us a body to, to house our soul. And then we had a spirit that's either alive or dead through faith. So step into your faith. Step into what God wants you to do today because God wants you to trust him for everything. So when you panic, just go, oh, hang on a minute. That didn't work last time. What I really needed to be doing is trusting God. And then suddenly your faith kicks in and you're relying on God and you allow things to get on with it. Now obviously if, if there's things that you can do to help your situation, you're going to do them. That's quite normal. But it shouldn't be in a panic situation. It shouldn't be in a fear situation. There should be no fear. David picked up his stones and his, his sling and he ran towards Goliath. He wasn't running away from him. He says, you've got a spear and a sword and a javelin. I come in the name of the Lord. Have some of that. <laughs> you know? That was real faith, right? All the Israelite army are going, oh, I don't want to go and face Goliath. And David comes on and says, come on, bring it on, you know? Because I'm in the name of the Lord. And, and that's what we need to do as Christians when we're facing these problems that look as though they're going to swamp us, they're going to, they're going to just destroy us. may even take our life 
whatever that might be. We've got to trust Jesus. We've got to trust God for our future. Amen? Amen. Trust God. Thank you. And I preach that to myself more than anybody else. <laughs> trust me. Amen.